Those of you in the future might be interested to know that our culture worshipped a constantly revolving group of people we called stars. Here's how it worked. People who were not pretty made a living finding pretty people and putting them in movies and TV. Over time, people began to believe that just because the stars were prettier than us, they were better than us. So we worshipped them, and we bought magazines that told us what the stars were really like and what they liked to eat and how they managed to stay so pretty. We cared about what they wore and who designed what they wore and who they slept with after they took off what they wore. And the not pretty people help the pretty people make extra money by telling the common people which products to buy. And like lemmings, we did. We watched our stars on early morning and late night TV tell us about their latest projects. And we would go out and pay to see those projects the minute they were released. Each of those projects featured up-and-coming pretty people who hoped they would become famous until, of course, they were no longer pretty. What makes all of this so amazing is that just over a hundred years ago, actors were the lowest rung of society. People who actually contributed to the common good were held in much higher regard. Even 50 years ago, we used to listen to authors and smart people, but somehow everybody lost out to pretty people. But then the virus hit, and overnight, everyone seemed to realize that stars really don't know anything. They're just really good at pretending to be people who know things. See, in a crisis, people whose only skill is pretending get bumped to the back of the line. We need people who can actually do something. I don't care if the doctor or nurse or researcher is pretty. Can they save me? Naturally, the pretty people wanted to be safe first, but that's our fault because we let them think that they were special. Maybe, just maybe, when we come out of this crisis, we'll start to see stars as just people who won the genetic lottery and leave it at that. That, at least, would be one positive result from this pandemic. Unless, of course, you think I'm pretty. <laughs>